Hey everybody, welcome to Bad Comedy Podcast. My name is Elon Musk, the God King, and I am an awesome, cool supervillain. And I'm here with uh, my name is Harold Patricia. No, oh. it's a female Harold. <laughs> female is version. That transitioned Harold. Yeah, Harry. Uh, yeah. Harry. Uh, Harry Patty. Mm. Steve Jobless, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, so somebody dang. reach out. R- 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 dang. Dane also, I might have to go back to poker. Maybe head up Dane Cook, make you work for Apple. No, it could be Steve, a cook. Steve Jobs, be a, cl- a classic example of a guy who gets credit for not doing shit that he's. No, but see, that's the thing that <laughs> it, even it, even if somebody's sole Uh-oh. contribution is vision, vision, and they turn into reality. Well, guys, we got to fill in the audience. I'll tell, that's you, I'll tell you who's not contributing vision: comedian Ben Noble. <laughs> really? He's blind. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good for the public episode. Yeah. Um, I told that uh, Jake Peta, dude, literally Jake Peta. Have you ever seen the movie "Hear No Evil, See No Evil"? Mm-mm. It's a, uh, it's a uh, Richard Pryor and uh, what's uh, Gene? What's the guy from Willy Wonka? Gene Wilder. Gene, G- no. Gene Wilder. And uh, Gene, Gene Wilder. <laughs> Gene Wilder is deaf, and Richard comic. Pryor is <laughs> blind. <laughs> it's hear no evil, see no evil, and wow. then they get involved with a crime, a- and it's literally Ben Noble and Jake Peta. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> I, d- I don't know. I don't know Richard Pryor. I know Richard after mm-hmm. afterwards. Ooh, yeah, Richard before, before yeah. Yeah. back when he was cool. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, I like antonyms. You know, I hate synonyms. So. I liked Richard Pryor Richard to his Pryor. success. Wh- Whenever uh, I hear I Richard Pryor, I just don't even understand what he's saying. And uh, everyone's going wild. <laughs> I'm, a com- I'm a comedy hipster. I liked Richard Pryor to his, his success. I hate nice. synonyms. Jason loves cinnamon, <laughs> especially yeah. cinnamon rolls. I love mm-hmm. cinnamon butter. <laughs> How many donuts did you get at Dunkin' Donuts? Twelve. He's How like, fast, fast, fast did you eat them? I ate them like fast as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, how, how, I've been you, watching shit tons of Jiminy Glick lately, and it's yeah, really you, you uh, it's basically I sent you a video of it. It's basically our podcast. I've never seen Jiminy yeah. Glick, uh, <laughs> but it's twenty years ago. It's Martin Short in a fat suit. It's the best show of <laughs> ever. Dude. I remember it's one my time favorite show. Bob Keen called me uh, a short a fat sc- guy. Like a school shooter Jiminy Glick or something. What? Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. I know that makes no sense. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know Bob Keen. I, I noticed at Power Hour, he's kind of sensitive. If the drink, you know, there's a drinker on stage who will talk during people's sets, and if he, anyone ever talks during Bob's sets, he goes off. Uh-huh. Like he goes off on. I think he's nervous at places like Power Hour. Probably wants to just where try people to like me are welcome. <laughs> he'll and they'll, they'll like interrupt his set, and he'll like attack them. Like you better not be. He- uh, he- interrupted my set. Oh wow! Like, you he goes pay like for that. It. Like he he's gets like, like super intense. And he, he'll he'll get so intense sometimes that he ruins the rest of his set because uh-huh. he he's clearly emotional. You know why yeah. I think it is? Because he's because uh, he's fucking re- gay. Gay retard. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were talking about like uh, if a if a comic had like a sugar mama. My uh, in my and, psychological. And sh- oh, okay, you knew exactly. In my <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's with Ariel. In my clinical expertise, I I think Bob Keen might be. Gay. Yeah, <laughs> and our, our worded. Sorry. What were you saying, Dylan? And trans, right? And, yeah. and trans. Yeah. Well, I like trans people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just no, like just like, like Michael Cooper. Retarded people. You yeah. love retarded um, people. Oh, yeah, more. for Me sure. And Jason, we were talking about coffee earlier, and he was getting coffee, and oh, he, yeah. he tried to trick me into being... Uh, he asked me if I wanted cream or sugar, <laughs> and I was like, no, what? <laughs> yeah. I think if you get cream and Don't sugar in your coffee, time. first of all, you're gay, because cream is like jizz and then sugar in it. Yeah, yeah sugar, you got, sugar so you got a little, sh- little sugar in your tank, right? You and then you got a little sugar in your and tank, and it's also racist. Mm-hmm. You're you're diluting this beautiful black coffee. That's right. With trying to mix in all this, trying to whitewash it. Exactly. You know? My my ideal. So it's gay. My uh, ideal day off. I got my beautiful black queen, and I got my beautiful black coffee. So mm-hmm. if you have if you have coffee That's that you need. that has cream and sugar, or even one or the other, then you're gay and racist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I believe, and that's the clip. Welcome mm-hmm. to demonetization. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, that was fine. <laughs> I didn't say any smurs. Uh, uh, um, about sis. I, I what said, were you saying? I about said cinnamon? smurs because if I say slurs, then oh. they'll go back and the algorithm will go check. Or maybe P- something. Powerpuff else. Girls, powder puff. No, girls. I'm sorry. You saying something about donuts or coffee? Oh no, it was just when he, he when you ordered coffee or you're stopping for coffee, then. 
I was like, you know what that means, Mac? And I was thinking donuts. And he said donuts. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, did, I didn't get donuts today. I legit, because I put on some of my clothes and they weren't fitting right. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> I've been eating bad. Every, uh-huh. every time I so I have to like <laughs> slow down. So I did, I, on the way, I stopped at Dunkin', but I didn't get donuts. Really? I have been getting mm-hmm. donuts occasionally. I don't know. The other night, I was Well, let me need to do I was a piss test for donuts. I was <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Like <laughs> we're p testing. Like Dylan's, we got p test Dylan for drugs because uh-huh. he's got pill addiction. So many and, and, and then you're levels. p testing me for like <laughs> ketones or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Like for sprinkles. Yeah, mm-hmm. like for diabetic urine or whatever. Like there are traces of sprinkles in his system. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm, pa- I'm like passing spoon. sprinkles like kidney stones. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what <laughs> residue of an, a food I used to eat is still in me, like Little Caesars. Or do I have like oh, yeah. 0.01% of I, me I know that Little I have Caesars a big block still. of Blue Malnati's cheese you sitting do? at the bottom of my stomach. Oh, my God. Sometimes I well, get lonely, so it? I'll swallow some. No, no, it, it's just Blue Malnati's from over the years. It's just uh-huh. in my tummy. I sometimes Probably, I, sometimes I, I get sure. lonely, so I swallow my gum, so uh-huh. I feel like it's kind of with me for a while. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it takes a while. Sometimes I, I, mm-hmm. I put like little googly eyeballs on my piece of gum and like a little smile, and then I swallow it. Sometimes yeah, yeah. when I'm Those hungry, my little friends I, in my tummy. I'm not even actually fat. I actually just swallowed a watermelon seed. Mm-hmm. Really? And it's yeah, growing? And it's growing. Well, there's a watermelon growing in my how belly. How are you going to get it out? You have to get C-section, probably. Well, I'm hoping I can crush it and consume it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> I was thinking there should be like a watermelon <laughs> spice coffee. Or oh yeah, you can Ooh, just, you, you can watermelon just, spice. Yeah. That sounds terrible. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's just no, no, it's just marketing. To Wait, a different. What so about just this? It's growing in your stomach. Yeah. So you could just punch it. Yeah. Once it was fully grown. Yeah. But you gotta wait till it's fully grown. So you I'm get gonna get Dale really mad at me. You wanna get the, you wanna, <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, you wanna get the most out of the watermelons? So you gotta let it grow fully and then just punch it. And yeah, it. yeah. And then it just automatically it's already in your stomach. Well, my plan was to yeah, it's mm-hmm. gonna grow full size and then I'm gonna get Dale really mad at me and then he's gonna take a swing. Yeah. And, and then you're just like, thanks the for the meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yum yum, Dale. I get to be, I used to I get to make you mad and eat a watermelon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, and you get super skinny in front of him too. And I lose all the weight. <laughs> and then a bunch of women flock around me. I put mm-hmm. my arms around them. God, I want to meet his doctor that didn't notice how fat he was. <laughs> I honestly had the worst had a doctor ever. Last week was this doctor Ben Noble? <laughs> <laughs> I had a nightmare that I, I woke up to an email or something or a message that was titled The Passing of Dale McPeak. No, I really had this don't nightmare. Don't even say that. That's sad. I know. It is very that is sad. That's really sad. But I said it. And I try to say last. Honestly, episode. having him on, I feel like he's doing pretty good. He didn't seem yeah so like worse. <laughs> Dylan, so that's Dylan, can we search thought. your bag and see, see if there's any separate heads in there? I don't have any heads in there. Do you got your duffel bag today? He's, 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 got, he's no, got a medium-sized duffel bag. No boots. <laughs> Maybe he's got like well, one, one foot in there or something. My old <laughs> ASIC, my ASIC that's his foot bag. <laughs> oh, is that you, it's, is that Gay Six brand? Why Asics. would you say gay six I'm, when it's A6? I'm wearing recock. You don't know. <laughs> shoes. I actually had a. We used re- to say Gap was gay and proud. Brawler. Gap. I uh, this week, uh, w- uh, for my home improvement, I recock. I recocked some areas. Mm-hmm. Nice, dude. Um, in my bathroom. I was recocking my girlfriend. Nice. nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh I was dude. cocking her, and then I was re-cock. recocking her. What about uh? Sorry. So Max's oh. girlfriend is kind of oh. just to recock. Double cocked. Yep. What if the, if you do that, does the gun jam? No. Oh. I mean, you're not supposed to. I mean, actually, does it load two bullets so you could kill someone extra? No, <laughs> only one. I always chamber two bullets. Well, you don't just in case I extra. miss. Well, you don't need to cock this to fire it. Oh fuck yeah! yeah. What do you cock it for then? Just loves you know, it just. So and then if, if there's a clip in here, it'll just go back so up. you never need to cock it. No. So what's the point of co- having a cock? Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's what all my trans friends say. Uh, <laughs> like with with the old guns. Yeah, why do you don't even have bullets in there? What do you do? I mean, it's semi-auto, so you don't have. To, uh, but some guns. What's the well, point? Well, you have to load it. Though. Why have the mechanism? I don't know. Why? why put I'm all the yeah, pressure yeah, what, what, in that I'm kind of like Elon Musk. I'm what's a master engineer. Of, yeah. Mm-hmm. What is the point of the co- barrel <laughs> cocking if? If it automatically loads in there, Mm -hmm. I guess the first bullet you gotta load in with that. You gotta cock it in. That's it. Oh, you gotta. Okay, there you go. That's why. To get the first bullet. Yeah. I always cock two in so I can shoot two bullets at the Mm -hmm. first shot. In the olden days, (laughs) or with some guns still, you have to cock before every shot. Or, or remember the ones like the thing on the back? You click down. Yeah. Yeah. I just watched a movie where they were doing that. Uh, I've been watching like a lot of movies. Uh, Oh yeah, how many movies did you watch last night, (laughs) dude? 
I, I took the day off yesterday, Friday. I was going to try and get a bunch of d- stuff done. I got to use some of my vacation hours. And I instead, I like stayed up all night watching movies and did nothing until 5 p.m. when I would have got off work. Then wow. I finally yeah. scheduled a haircut. That's n- that's good for I'm you. I'm so though. bad at procrastination. Yeah. But I, my, but I did watch. My vibe uh, is actually helping me with it. Fuck oh, yeah, dude. I did watch. Uh, 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 have you ever seen Unbreakable? Yes, it's like a series. There's like three of them. I watched wait, all three. Wait, what is Unbreakable it? has got Bruce Willis and uh, yeah, yeah. He's like he doesn't know he's a superhero. He's a superhero. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's yeah. the train crash. Do you know there's a second and third one? No, that play, dude. They're awesome. Sweet. I'm yeah. Yeah. Oh, I watched Spree. It, there's it's Split and then Glass. Oh, I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw I saw Split. Yeah. Oh, I, I saw all three actually. <laughs> I was um, in a gang <laughs> called the Unbreakables uh, in my youth. Really? Yeah, the Unbreakables. I was in a gang called the Sons. I forgot about that. Really? We burned our little hands. I was uh, in a gang called uh, all those guys are the Criminals with a K. Uh, nice. Mm-hmm. Those are how are, how how is the rest the of the K? gang doing these days? Mm-hmm. They're fine actually. You guys going? You guys going to the twenty year reunion? No, that, that <laughs> was once I left the. Uh, well, one of them OD gangs do that? and uh, didn't die. Uh, but nice. he's sober now, and the rest of them are actually doing pretty well. The BDs, on the other hand, that I hung out with early in high school, not doing so hot. <laughs> what was, what, was your what can I say about my day? former gang members? They're pretty Nowadays, much Nowadays, they're not doing so hot. In jail or dead my or not, like not doing hot. <laughs> I think like half of us were Jewish or something. Like it was Whoa. Pretty, they're doing pretty well. Well, that makes sense because Jews were the original people in the ghetto. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Gangs Anne Frank was friends with Tupac? Probably. To be quite frank, yeah. Machiavelli. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you think Anne was really frank with people? Like, it's uh, very, it's very. Yeah, I think uh, so. She's yeah. sh- that's uh, that's why how she got the nickname Anne Frank. Yeah, uh-huh. she was very. Uh, I don't, I don't, actually, fuck synonym. She was just frank. How about this? Does that mean honest? <laughs> Benjamin Ann Franklin. Uh, being nice. frank is like being straight up. Uh, she's very straight up. Uh, let me let me be frank with you. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Ooh. Let me be Frank Thomas with you and do steroids. And make a square hamburger. And do steroids mm. and be, be Oh, good wait, baseball. Frank Thomas is the baseball player. Who am I thinking about? Frank, Frank Thomas is the Sox player. Who's the Wendy's guy? Dude. Frank and Mary's? Something Thomas. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thomas Tank Engine. No, the, went, the guy who invented a square wanna hamburger because he doesn't cut corners. Want to talk about Thomas Tank Engine? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Did you ever watch it? I, I read it. Yeah, I watched it. The show, I never really remembered it. I read it for sure. Uh-huh. I, I don't. I, there's a bunch of different ones. Thomas is the good guy. Uh-huh. There's like an evil one. You know, they called the plane that went to Epstein Island, they called it the Lolita Express. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> was it the Underage Railroad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which was for us. Woo! Uh, I saw you do that joke of power. What about those er, fun. At uh, Beer Belly. Mm-hmm. What about Underage Plane Road? I gotta look Pain up the route. the guy's name. Who I'm trying to think of. Uh, oh so wait, the guy, it? the Dave. Dave Thomas. Is he related to Frank Thomas? Yeah. They both are famous. Yeah. <laughs> they're real, no, they're blood related. Yeah, blood brothers. You know, they say mm-hmm. about Wendy's blood in, blood out. If you don't have a blood oath, like, what do we do? We should have a blood oath, you guys. I, I had, I, I yeah, had we, you guys wanted I, to I had a blood, blood brothers. Well, mm-hmm. I, I started a confederacy in my fraternity. Of people that wanted to party and not follow the rules. Really? We, we all would cut our finger and then put it like next to our name once you got initiated <laughs> into it. You it, started a confederacy? You start, did you go to war to defend slavery? No. <laughs> we went to war to uh, let us have ke- keg parties while we were really? on probation. Wow. You went to, you, <laughs> and his his jury went to war to get slaves. I had people, <laughs> I, I had people in my... We're a confederacy. I had people in my pocket mm-hmm. on the exec board. So it was like an underground... Yeah, I, I ran like the Illuminati of the fraternity and... I made it okay to smoke cigarettes in the house. Yeah, <laughs> I, feel like I was in my fret. I was the slave master. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, w- I was. I was. I was you actually the slave master. The no, pledge master. Really, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I do want to. In the Confederacy. So this guy Reese, who's my fraternity, is really funny. He should stand up for a little bit, but quit. Did he did it in like the Orlando. P- did a guy have a lot of peanut butter candy? No, nice. but he was in my fraternity, and he moved recently to the humble area. So I want to have him on at some point. It's funny as hell. He sounds hilarious. <laughs> 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 we have our guests on based on they live nearby. <laughs> 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 that sounds like uh honestly, you know who did that was very successful? Mr. Neighbors. Mm. Most of the guests on his show were people who lived in the neighborhood. Oh. Uh-huh. So we should have more I'm puppets on the show. Just call Wait, me Mr. Neighbor. I got added on Instagram by an account that it was a Paul Harvard type account. It's called All Things Comedy or something like that. 
I think uh. I think he's a new podcast called All Things Comedy. Oh, really? That's gonna do all things really comedy. Well. No, it's okay. I, I all things comedy is Bill Burr's production company or something, uh, isn't really? it? That's he, he should know that if he knows all things comedy. Well, I didn't. All things I comedy. It's a podcast that. network that Bill Burr is a part of. Wow. Did you guys see James Dejar followed by comedy then unfollowed us on TikTok. So he tried to Except get a for little his ratio. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good choice for yeah. him because I'll tell you what, James. I unfollowed you as well, too, pal. Dude, it's I pretty un- easy to f- uh, figure it out on TikTok because it mm-hmm. says either friends or following. I unfollowed <laughs> him on everything like a while ago because Dylan told me he's a joke thief. Yeah, yeah. When, when <laughs> you, I just unfollowed when him you on need everything. Get a James Dejar. We, 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 we have a room right. Right there for it. He still makes sure to fist bump me every time he sees me. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Oh, no, I, was I, l- I l- gave him Dude's one. I'll make a. a yeah, you, last night you said uh, to James Dejar, fist bump Dylan, and Dylan's like, yeah, sure, good to see you, my arch nemesis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I was pretty baller, dude. I liked you just oh, tell telling him. But people. this is, but like your Whatever. beef with him. Uh, I mean, it's kind of easy. Like I, my mine was with like a, a twelve year open micer. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, the beef is legit, though. But so I, 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 you just got lucky that you got to have a beef with a bigger uh, boss. Yeah, and you yeah. caused it. <laughs> boss level yeah. opponent. And then I won. And then uh, also a movie I watched recently, infamous. Boss Level. Mm. I'm infamous, folks. Yeah. Infamous um, Mac Nepper. If he wins the Comedy Gazelle Comedian of the is Year. Infamous Mac M S E K. If you don't like me, then you're fucking gay. I did get <laughs> good revenge though, because. I took home the take a shot title, folks. Congratulations, yes, bro. Why didn't you tell it. us? Yeah. Because you, you never supported me or, you know, try to go. So it's it's so far out of the car. Well, you guys were texting me mm-hmm. and I was asleep. No, it's okay. You never go to my shows. My buddies. Yeah, I do. When? What shows do you go to that are mine? Uh, the ones I was on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, how come you but guys never you come to, to end of the line? I do. Uh, I have. <laughs> I come to support. You <laughs> have, but only when Junior was on. There's a I, I've You're really supporting Junior. I've come several times. Uh, I've gone, yeah, I've went there a couple of times. When I hang out with my girlfriend, I come several times. Nice. <laughs> I came to watch Many. Brian Rowe walk, walk 50,000 people. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. It was, the, it was the busiest Nighthawks ever been. It was mm-hmm. packed, door to, it was just... And then Brian Rowe walked a herd of people. It was like yes. it was like in the Lion King when all those yeah, it sounds like it's something from the Bible. What were those things? The <laughs> water buffaloes? Those yeah, that were all. It was like when it was like when Scar took over and he turned a whole kingdom into the ghetto. Yeah, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then Brian. Remember when he turned a whole place into the elephant graveyard? Mm-hmm. That fucking asshole. Scar. E- Elon Musk ghetto. is kind of like Scar. But yeah, <laughs> but I love Scar. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know what's weird about Scar is he's a uh, he's dark skinned. <laughs> Louis like Mufasa's light skinned, did you know? Yeah. Mufasa? Interesting. Uh-huh. And yeah. then Scar is dark skinned. Well, it doesn't no, necessarily yeah, need to like be racial. Dark. It could just and be like the, all, the all the hyenas basically. are voiced by black people. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But it's and like then when Scar takes over, it, it's like the high it, it, the bad part of the town is where Scar lives. <laughs> it's almost like there's some <laughs> racial yeah. themes. No, but and it's mm-hmm. like there's lots of, lots of crime over there. A lot of, a lot of things I think are seen as racial, but there's like a there's always been a theme of like like the daytime to nighttime, the sun like dark versus light. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's not necessarily a skin color. You know, it's you're just right. It's probably not racial. It's a Disney movie. Walt Disney was wasn't racist. Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> if, any, if anything, it would have been he Jewish. Was Ruben being That's not, not racist. If Disney. anything, it would have been. Oh, he hated <laughs> just Jews, not black people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, new, the new Disney hates black oh. people. Yeah, no. No, I heard him do a speech. He said, I "Love black new people. Disney. They're my favorite people." <laughs> That's how he talked. <laughs> he, did, he, did, he did his hand zip up. Yeah. Hell yeah. New Disney loves black people and yeah, yeah. it wants to turn kids gay potentially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like sprinkles on a donut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So why do you think they added those in the first place? I say we because guess what? Ban sprinkles. Yeah. Ban sprinkles for good. Or uh, ice cream sprinkles. I, I mean, I like Elon Musk. Elon that. Musk would call them black jelly beans. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> every, t- every every time I you know that one. <laughs> No. Every time I <laughs> eat a sprinkle, I think it makes me a little Oh, you gayer. know everything about Elon Musk, but you don't know about the guy who sued him because he was calling his black employees black jelly beans. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, well, again, I like him. Evil. He's evil. from South Africa, though. Like, what do you? Ex- I mean, that's Honestly, what you should be. African. You should be racist. Yeah. If you're a white guy from South Africa. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, they just, yeah. went, in, they just went in there and, just get, and they're Afrikaans. It's close to African. Uh, but they're like, yeah, we're pretty much uh, we're Africans. Yeah. African Canadians. A freaking American. They, they just spell it with yeah. a K. It's just hilarious. Mm-hmm. I'm a freaking. They're kind of like corn. I love that. They're kind of like corn, just kind of changing it around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like every K A A N or something like that. They're switching it up. 
Yeah. Die ant word is kind of the corn of Africa. They, r- they really are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. no, so, so, um, oh, shout, by the way, shout out to our listeners in uh, Belgium. We've had a decent oh, amount of... Oh, nice. Or no, sorry. The, maybe <laughs> Belgium or the Netherlands. I always wanted to go to Belgium and have a waffle. Yeah. I think I'm one-eighth Belgian. I think it's... Ne- You're one-eighth Jewish. I do know a guy... Our Dutch listeners. It might Dutch be Dutch, listeners. Yeah. Shout out to our Dutch listeners. That mm-hmm. might be uh, a guy I know from Twitch, actually. It's there's a Dutch really guy There's a Twitch lot of listening hours. I talk to. There's a lot of listening hours from there. Oh, really? I can't <laughs> see that. Well, I can't see that. It's like, it's like... It shows, like, general U.S. and then, like, uh, Chicago, New York, L.A., and then, like, yeah. two different cities <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> in the Netherlands. Wow. My girlfriend hates the uh, d- Dutch products, though. And then a lot of a lot of I got her a Dutch oven. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Misogynistic. The Dutch ovener. Yeah. My girlfriend hates Dutch products. (laughs) (laughs) I like I like the wooden shoes they have. Is that Dutch? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get. We should get wooden shoes. We should. We should do a GoFundMe for wooden shoes. Yeah. (laughs) We should. (laughs) (laughs) I mean. We could definitely easily or afford them. Me but we could definitely easily afford them, but we should get somebody else to pay for them. Or <laughs> or for beekeeper outfits. I'm gonna actually write this down. Uh, say for uh, oh, go beekeeper fund me. outfits is better. But this is bad timing because last week Tina had one for her dog that needs surgery. No, it's good timing because we should make it so she can't afford it because everyone's giving money to us for wooden no, shoes. <laughs> No, she's a great It's so funny, though. She, yeah, she, but she's one of yeah, our, fa- our favorite patrons. I Let's know, w- but it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> which one's going to last longer? Um, right? Hope you got enough money there, Tina. Yeah, good luck, because we're going to out. We're gonna compete with you. Mm. Yeah, for wooden shoes. Oh, Zeke Zugler, your package will be, uh, if you're listening, uh, your gift package. It got sent back to me in the mail twice. Um I'll, I'll I'll bring it back to the post office. Where does he does live? Uh, um, I forgot. <laughs> Let's dox him on the free episode. By the way, yeah, what he's referring to, because you might not know, is a free episode. But we did patron awards, and we rewarded some of our patrons for different things, and we uh, sent out all those packages. I would say that's the so. The if you won an award and didn't get your package, hit me up because I I they should have all been sent out by now. It I was think. like mm-hmm. I would Except say maybe yeah. of Dylan. I have, but Danny's been not in jail. Okay, but anyway, I, I, I should have filmed uh, Meta's uh, unboxing because he, <laughs> he was so excited. He was into it. Yeah. That rules. Um, S- Scriva might unboxing. send us something. We yeah. should have sent some, like one person a gun. Well, because because that would be cool. Because yeah, <laughs> Meta unboxed it here, and he was like, "Oh, this is awesome. You guys are the best." <laughs> cool. I was point. worried that people would think it's weird as fuck because I just gave them a bunch of my old merch. It has yeah. nothing to do with the podcast. Well, you no, the you Silver Fox. Uh, the only thing that had to do with the podcast is you get like a... Uh, well, you get a t-shirt. Uh, what do, a what is that called? Uh, like a certificate type yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, That yeah. says you won the award mm-hmm. and you got a Crancel. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is a crayon pencil. And mm-hmm. then I think Meta got a t-shirt. Yeah, and a, a t-shirt, some zines. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I do have a t-shirt for Maybe you, that. That's actually more like $150,000 in merch. It's about $150,000 in merch. Okay. Some of that merch is classic uh, collectible well, stuff. Well, guys, one of these days... This might be considered priceless. Just think about it, because one of these days, Jason is going to do something that's going to make the whole world... Uh, yes. Remember <laughs> me forever. <laughs> They're going to make a Wikipedia about the town it happens in. Yeah. You know he, what I mean? Yeah, they, you know how Wikipedia doesn't say mm-hmm. the names he's anymore. Gonna be, it just be, says the place. He's going to become the mayor of that town. They're going to put with you too. They're going to put the <laughs> building that it happened in. <laughs> it, nice. You'll be able to search the something something building. <laughs> you won't be able to find my name. You know? Be careful here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt goes at Goodwill, and uh, you're so insistent on uh, Hannibal. You yeah. talk about the different Hannibals in the history of. Well, them, we got so a gift for Mac. Yeah, so I, I guess this is. An a choice as a designer, they made it, it, it rubs the lotion on, skin on its or skin. Or it gets or the hose again. So I don't know who would want <laughs> this on a T-shirt, but it's also got some kind of bee or wasp kind of. I yeah. like it. I like it. So that you, rules. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I, I you wanted some. I'll probably re-gift it to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, I love no, getting. I love cool. getting gifts I like because I was the best. The best gift of giving is giving it to somebody else. Yes, I, was, I was hoping exactly. it would be a portrait of That's the Hannibal gift. Barca crossing the Alps with his elephants, but <laughs> it works. Yeah. I was th- I've been uh thinking about the That's a painting I need to get. I've got a new joke this. about Silence of the Lambs. Do you hear it at Beer Belly? <laughs> it's uh I'm making a, I because there's a writer strike, I thought I'd step in mm-hmm. and be a scab. And my w- my first idea was to uh, just do Silence of the Lambs again, mm-hmm. but this time we're gonna cast Chris Hemsworth as the 
as the serial oh, I killer. Like the, okay. So instead of a creepy, wow. weird looking guy, mm-hmm. we got hot guy with abs. Uh-huh. And he goes, Oh, is she a big fat person? That's mm-hmm. my favorite part. Wait, <laughs> We're keeping that. <laughs> no, yeah. But yeah. Oh, wait, is she a big fat person? Yeah. <laughs> That's one of his lines. <laughs> Do you remember that? Mm-mm. Silence of the Lambs. Play, they're looking uh, for a. That? They're looking for a woman who got murdered. And he's wow. like, he's like, oh, I don't know her. Oh, wait a minute, is she a great big fat person? <laughs> but, so, uh, but Chris Hemsworth probably. Chris Hemsworth that. is that guy, and then Chris Hemsworth gets he pushes his penis between his legs, uh-huh. and he goes. Uh, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. Uh-huh. I'd fuck me so hard. And then everyone's like, "Yeah, we'd fuck you too." The oh, and then and then, Lee, and then Liam because thi- everyone thinks he's hot. Uh-huh. Liam Hemsworth will play at Hannibal. Yes. Yeah, he'll play with and he's Anthony in Hopkins. J- and is he hot? Yeah, yeah. They're and so he's and they, Hannibal is like twins or, bro- or they're Ellie's brother that they look the same. Honestly, he's, I he's heard like uh, Clarice. You need to get into the mind of a hot guy. I heard Hannibal last night. Burris, honestly, at Zany's. I heard that he walked a bunch of people. <laughs> he did a. Brian Rowe. Go back to music, <laughs> Hannibal no, Burris, or why. come on our podcast. It's because he started rapping. Oh, yeah. that's why. He, and, oh, and he no. said, I only do com- he, I think he was drunk and he was like, I only do comedy for money. And then he was rapping instead. And then <laughs> I just heard, heard he well, wanted to fuck for money, people. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I actually watched some like podcast with him and he's, he said exactly what you're describing really? is his problem these days. That's why. Like he wants to do. Uh, he wants to do music now, uh-huh. but he only gets. He said comedy. that at North Bar, I think it was. Really like, yeah, like, <laughs> I think he said like he makes his price uh, to perform comedy really high because mm. he just doesn't even want to get booked yeah. for it. Yeah, and That's but people will still pay mm. it sometimes. I just feel like he seems <laughs> like the. He seems too much like me, where I'm almost just like I know the problem with being monotone and boring. So mm. then it's just like, dude, you can't be like. Oh, but I'm I'm special and unique, like at your own comedy. <laughs> Just well, do he, comedy. I don't consider Hannibal to be monotone and boring. Dude. Really, he's kind of like uh, he, he is at, at points. He seems like he's asleep, dude. That's coming from me. Have you me. seen? Uh, he talks oh. like fast and slow. Like mm. I think a typical Hannibal joke, he'll be like. Or What's the deal with being a beekeeper? You get up in the morning, you got to be, and then uh, but, 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 but I say the last word slowly. Oh, that makes maybe sense. Maybe in some of his mean? stand-ups like that. But like on the Eric Andre show, he was like the Dylan of the show, and he'd stand right behind the oh, guest yeah, he'd do that. <laughs> just randomly say stuff. Dude, I legitimately, say I, I thought that shit was like the funniest shit ever. Uh, Hannibal Eric on Eric Andre? Oh, yeah. So that was so awesome. That's, that's a great show, Eric Andre's mm-hmm. show. Yeah, it's basically... Yeah, we basically that makes sense. It's basically a worse version of our show. I didn't know that he spits like... Yeah. Best lines what we like did that. is we kind of combined. Makes sense if he's a rapper. We he'll do like a slow premise, and then he'll get worked up, and then come to some like anticlimactic uh-huh. kind of. We we kind of combined. Uh, it's got a flow. We kind of mm-hmm. combined the essence of Cumbtown, Eric Andre show, Joe Rogan experience. Um, no, uh, no, uh, no chubby behemoth at all. No. Kind of like the essence, and, and then the essence of essence. We magazine. stole all of that, mm-hmm. and then we essence created first. a masterpiece that's better than all of them combined. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Essence Fest is mm-hmm. that the gay one or the black? That's ladies? the black one. Yeah, Hell yeah! One. I want to go to that one. Yeah, they have a lot of what? Drink yeah, I would, was it again? Dude, I would hate to go to the other one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there are probably a lot of sprinkles there. Essence yeah, definitely. Fest. Yeah, I'm looking for Hannibal Barker painting. Can you guys? Oh, tell? yeah. When you get done with that, I need to go get my coffee. Are there got any uh, <laughs> downstairs? Yeah. Uh, do I you want to do a a, a a monologue? Yeah. Is that? Can you? Yeah. This is your chance, Dylan. Okay. Don't disappoint. I saw Chandler from Friends passed away, folks, and this was a couple weeks ago, so. But I still think it's too soon to talk about. I mean, could it be more soon? So I'm just going to run some bits about you guys right now. Uh, knock, knock. Could you No, could you help me out on this? Knock, Who's knock. Who's there? Not Chandler. Oh, nice. So maybe <laughs> okay, Joey, okay. maybe Marcel. I thought you were going to, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> what else should I talk about? So in my Take a Shot championship, uh, some of the jokes I selected were because I knew that. So we have James Najar does the mid or no? He no, has a joke where he jokes. says he can't he can't say ISIS because of his lisp, <laughs> so he can't be a terrorist. Uh, and I like that. But then, like, I have my midlife ISIS joke, and so then I said I can say that. Almost like I'm talking about ISIS, like I can mm-hmm. say that. But then I go into my R word joke about being in speech class as a kid, which was technically special ed. Yeah. 
I always so write, that's kind of calling them retarded. I always write out my <laughs> sets like a half hour before the show. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'll switch it around based on the audience because I'm, oh, no, yeah. I'm, I'm normally playing like middle in the show because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm deadpan. They don't want me first, mm-hmm. um, and I don't want me first either because I, w- I want to be. I want to feel the room, and I'll normally open up with something that has to do with the room I or, or a comic yeah. before me. Honestly, I'm trying to get more. Uh, in that's the what moment. Michael Cooper doesn't understand. Because mm-hmm. when I was tr- saying trying to say what I wanted to start with, he mm-hmm. was like. You mean that he was like <laughs> he was like I was about to say something really mean and he said the mean thing uh-huh. like you shouldn't you should know how to start your set. Oh, I was gonna man. I was gonna say that. I was like, Well you just did. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that is dumb though to be that you have to start it like that every time seems unnatural. It is. Yeah. I mean it, what makes it unique is if you can do Ripped it off the something. cuff or at uh-huh. least or at least with like five minute preparation. Way more trust than being a robot. Ooh. I'm a do this one. I might do this one. Hell yeah! An yeah ele- that's kind of cool. So it's him riding an elephant. Uh-huh. But he doesn't look royal. He looks no. like a homeless guy. Why does he? Let look me see it. He looks kind of homeless. Wait, who's it supposed to be? Hannibal Barca, but he's oh, he's supposed to be darker cool skinned. Hannibal. Yeah, I think he was. He's from Libya, so he's probably a little bit lighter skinned. He wasn't like dark. I don't think. You should see if we can place a sports bet that would be done. You know, like over the course of the podcast, we can follow the action. What if we do a bet on who wins the Punic Wars, uh, Carthage or Rome? Do you have a good history knowledge about that subject? I know. I took a class uh, strictly about the Punic uh-huh. Wars. <laughs> and you want to bet against me? Uh, well, I'll bet that the Romans win. I'm going to take the under. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're placing bets on uh, on history on who wins the wars. <laughs> yeah, and so it's kind of max area, but I'm assuming we'll play some other bets for Ooh, you later. This one's cool. I just I just want to get a portrait of people riding on elephants and fighting. Oh, mm-hmm. nice, dude. Um, the so elephants. we've been kind of talking about Hannibal Burris and Hannibal Barca interchangeably. Mm-hmm. And Hannibal Barbera. Hannibal Barbera, yeah. See, I like I like this one a lot. Or where is it? Hannibal will never rise above where he already is. Got. So he was uh, he was in a Spider Man movie. I like this one, but he th- he's on the elephant, but he looks like a homeless guy. I want oh him yeah, I want him to look royal. And that's shit. pretty like baller if you're like a homeless guy who gets to ride an elephant. Yeah, <laughs> but I want. It's kind of like Rasputin. <laughs> Rasputin was horse. like he was like basically like a drunk uh-huh. uh, homeless guy who could talk and well. He had a big dick, and he got in with the royal family because he knew how to like. Uh, he got lucky guessing when the sun would get sick. Oh, and, and, and he's an excellent <laughs> manipulator. Yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah. like he'd be good at poker. He Dude, was, he was th- cool. He was cool with the sun. Was a, <laughs> what is it called? Like a hemophiliac? Uh, when you're gay for blood? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, the sun like had a, the son of the royal family had a disease. Like if you get a small cut, he might bleed. Oh, to death. yeah, so you bleed a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have very thin blood. <laughs> and if you get sick, like it's just like devastating. That's yeah. And yeah. Rasputin was just like cool with him. Some like like boy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember the Sar's <laughs> wife wanted to fuck Rasputin or like just because oh, yeah, they, 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 they thought he was just magic. He was like uh Chris oh. Damon with, with uh game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but what about the That's <laughs> actually probably what he looked like. <laughs> yeah. hundred wow. yeah, percent. Have you ever seen but they like s- uh that's rendering wild. Someone, they, they say he had a giant dick. <laughs> yeah. He looked he like can it. overcome anything if you know people's thoughts. He had big dick energy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you he was also good with that. horses or something. Mm-hmm. Mm. You could, uh, yeah. If you can, uh, if you could, fucking uh, get in their head like, mm-hmm. like Miss Cleo. No, it's creepy when there are people that they're so good at stuff like that, where it's just like manipulation and shit. Yeah, yeah. And just like who, acting. Who is like that? Do you have a, a, an example? I can't think of anybody. Probably wouldn't say um, any names on here. Somebody who's good at like. Let's t- uh, I just feel like it's like uh, we'll talk about or a really good salesperson. Dale's kind of a no. Nah, he's not good at it though. <laughs> I he's feel not like good at it. Yeah. What are you talking about? All he does is like he basically uh, is that, like a no, poor but guy, a but he example. gets to hang. Out. He's like Rasputin too. He's like hanging out with like Dale gets all pussy. the famous people because he's good at talking. He's is hanging he out with pussy? women and he's good at talking. Yeah, he's good at talking. Yeah. He makes money when he talks. He's really good at talking. Um, I'm about to say hello. He's bad at talking in the. F- 
Lisp. No, I, I just, he has a lisp. I, 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 yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. But he's good at talking in a way that he com- he's char- charisma. Did you purpose? That's like so funny because honestly, like that was the root of the, that thought. Was oh, like, really? It was yeah, Dale. Yeah, when we, he was on here, and then like I don't know, he said something about like talking to girls at the bar or something. I'm just like, I'm gonna save that. Or he said, I feel like he said something about like he knows like uh, he gets a lot of tang. Yeah, so it was just like okay, so he definitely knows how. Women work. <laughs> oh yeah. Like well, women like are the, simple. It's easy to understand that. I would say women <laughs> are complicated <laughs> creatures. Uh, if they're so complicated, then how come it's so easy for me to manipulate them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, see, there's another proof of the power of the tactic. So one yeah. time I was looking up manipulation tactics, and because someone called me a manipulator, <laughs> and then I realized oh, who was I it? Someone you were dating? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what the is that what the book uh, back in the day? But then I realized like I, I can just learn these. Okay. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude, it's called it's how to make uh, friends uh, and influence uh, others. Is it's it? called mm-hmm. the pickup artist. <laughs> the, well, the pickup artist. I, I wrote. Uh, I, I All you do is dress like I Chris watched Angel. the documentary. <laughs> how to, a pussy. How to be a cult leader, and then also it's how to. The there's another one similar. <laughs> how to be a cult leader, and then how to be a dictator or something see i think if it's like you're trying to get pussy that's why you're so machiavellian exactly yeah. but he just wants to lead groups of fraternities yeah. Mac- machiavelli illuminati all through your body i feel like a real leader would have how about done a blood oath shoddy. a real leader would have helped maddie them. illuminati who's who are you? Mad- Al- illuminati oh, uh, her, her maddie not naughty oh her? nice uh, i don't know her uh, my favorite pizza is, is she dating uh, my, my favorite pizza Somebody is Ill- illuminati's I heard she's dating. Uh, I, I don't, don't want to say it if it's not true. My favorite pizza is Illumi- nice. Illuminati's. Mm-hmm. My favorite, my least favorite pizza I is like Maddie Illuminati's. Uh-huh. She can't cook. <laughs> I don't know. P- <laughs> I don't know if she pizza, can cook or not. Pizza work because I have to order pizza and sometimes it's hard to. <laughs> she order. had alopecia, so it's like she doesn't have to wear a hair nut. <laughs> so what, <laughs> ooh, what, about, what about this aloe pizza? Where you put aloe ooh, on your pizza? I like that. It makes your pizza good for your skin. Yeah. So hair nut one time when I was hair nut. Yeah. One I wonder if Maddie like gets upset around Harry Ooh. Patrick because she has alopecia. I'm for <laughs> sure going to get a fucking dope canvas. Sorry, guys. You, you really? probably can't see what I'm she looking at. She did when at. she was a kid, I guess. Um, no, if you she want grew out of it. She grew up. Guys, if you want to follow Jada. if you want to follow along on your on, on your phone grew or on your Jada. iPad, type in Hannibal Barker writing on elephant painting. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can look at him. That's what I'm looking at right now. I just want to say bald is beautiful. I'm glad Max not too distracted for the pod right now. It's yeah. It's elephant picture he's going to order. Is I have a, I have actually like a what do you call it? Like a a, th- a charity that I'm starting. It's called mm-hmm. Bald is Beautiful, but wigs are a little more beautiful. Uh-huh, so it and, helps. Uh, it's we raise money wigs. to get wigs for bald people. <laughs> That'd be <an> awesome, <laughs> a condescending. Gift well, there to is give there is that thing. <laughs> They're saying Actually, bald tricks. Yeah. Christmas is coming up. Here's a gift idea: get all your bald friends wigs. <laughs> no, you honestly <laughs> that is a real thing already. for people with cancer, like Saint Baldrick's on Saint Patrick's yeah. Day. You shave your head. No, I donated. I, wig, I donated my hair to one of those before. I had such long hair in uh in mm-hmm. in college that I donated to I donated my dick children to the, with hair loss. I donated my dick so to hey, this transitioners. People that are transitioning. Nah, <laughs> that's mm-hmm. beautiful, man. Yeah. <laughs> so that so that MT, uh, so FTMs could get a that, penis. That's how woke mm-hmm. I am, dude. Dude, you're super woke. Well, they really should just. Swap and you don't have a penis now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like. Uh, I mean, I get it if you're like me, you could donate your extra penis. Mm-hmm. I'm like I too. No, I'm like Lord Varys from uh Lord from uh Game of Thrones. Nice, dude. Well, it's not a game, Mac. It's I'm like Lord of gender. Rings from Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Well, I gave I gave someone a penis because they had had they were stuck in a different body. I'm bored of the rings. Can we see? Some I let chains? my I let my girlfriend borrow my penis <laughs> inside her pussy. But you know what sucks? <laughs> this person this, this person betrayed me. They transitioned back. W- they detransitioned. Yeah, and they threw my dick away. Oh my God! Where they just threw it in the garbage? Yeah, can? I found it in the garbage and put it back on though. You gotta oh, nice. think they enjoy good, it. Good save. More. <laughs> did you have to put it in a cup with ice and rush to the? <laughs> I did. Yeah. And rush to the doctor, mm. like when you lose a finger. Yeah, I took a, I had to take an Uber Black because it was faster than other Ubers. I got there, they said I, you got to here just in the nick of time so we can put it back on. <laughs> you you could just take in one of those to uh, take just a shot. Di- yeah, just in the dick of time. Go on, Dylan. Mm. We'll could take an Uber Black. We're gonna to give you a chance a here to go ahead. Go ahead now. Picking a bone with Mac here. Let's pick it all. That's awesome. 
Hannibal bark. Sorry, thing. what were you saying? No, <laughs> that is awesome. You get a bone pick? <laughs> you, you get, Sick. I'm bullying Dylan. I, I'm going to stop right now. Go ahead, Dylan. For Elon Musk. I don't see a good bunch of uh, Carthage stuff. What does that say? It's a bee. It's, it's um, Car- Carthaginian stuff. Well, for your bed. I've been trying to reduce my Carthaginians. I don't want to get that disease that makes you bald like Maddie. Actually, yeah. I, I do have an interesting conversation topic. Wait, I want Dylan bald to say what we were, we were interrupting him. Well, there were like nine things. One of them was, oh, Uber Black, you could have taken that to take a shot. Support me, but it's all good. I didn't need it. Uber Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, next thing? You said there was nine Nine, things. yeah. One, that's one. That's one. That Number you two. did actually give me a wig as a gift last year. Yeah, that so was cool. So it's not just kids. I got cancer. one too, though. So it wasn't necessarily a bald prejudice thing. I right, seven more. Yep. So, uh, number three. Oh, no, they're they're dead. They're okay. Gone they're now. dead. Okay. And that's what happens. Sorry, Dylan. You can write them down. You Just apologize. Yeah, to the, you got to paper the right there. Ooh, this one's actually really. It's cool. not organic anymore. I got a recommendation for you. Check out Pen and Teller. That way, you could pen something down and then tell us, tell her us about. Hey guys, it. if you oh. Uh, What's your name? Uh, sorry, don't, don't you I think don't it'll be like that. uh, Ruari, if you, if you wanted to, I'll commission you to paint a really cool uh, Hannibal Barca riding an elephant painting going really to war. Cool. I like that. Um, no, so what if Carthage had beaten Rome and taken over Rome, early Rome? Yeah, so it, Italy would have been African essentially, full of African people. It's the basi- world would basically be basically already the world, like that. The world would be. <laughs> Crazy. Essentially, yeah. wouldn't the world be way different? Europe? Italians are kind of the black people of white. Well, people Sicilians are as it is. Sicilians are the black people of Italy, that are white. Yeah, sure. That's why they moved to America and started uh, the. When um, you hear your family, <laughs> this is they started the Sizzlers. Sizzlers. Sicilian yeah. Sizzlers. Mm-hmm. What about Piscillian? When you hear your family, uh, <laughs> Professor Pizza I makes Sicilian. <laughs> that's a that's Mexican a uh, Olive Garden. <laughs> The Mexican Olive Garden, well, Chipotle, al- the Olive it. Chipotle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you're here, you're familiar. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have a Barco World Tour. <laughs> 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 it just has all these different cities. Ha- like <laughs> <Hannibal>. Wow. <laughs> Hannibal. Uh, I'll get this and then a Hannibal Burris World Tour one too. <laughs> he has a rapper name too, and so it said Hannibal Burris <laughs> and, and then it said his rapper name. Which was forgettable. I'm, I'm Hannibal. <laughs> I'm a fucking animal. When I'm on the track, I'm always drinking the animals. Oh, the, Ooh, milk, the yogurt I drink? I like the yogurt. It's a the yogurt, yogurt drink. Yeah. Like but y'all ain't fucking with the yogurt. <laughs> Dude, these are the, whoever invented the animals is a complete asshole. They're like, you guys know yogurt? We invented a liquid version. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's called milk. And you know, you an, and you know, an, you know milk an, is the liquid version of yogurt. You know, <laughs> animals? Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll make a creative name called Danimals. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you know, like, it was a motherfucker <laughs> named Dan. Oh, for, it's probably Dan Dosimo. Yeah. Yogurt. He, yeah, he loves stealing ideas. Yeah. Like, he stole the idea of milk you to make Gogurt. Danimals. Yogurt's so good. Mm-hmm. Gogurt is it probably the best invention. Shout out to Gogurt Rewards. On Just Instagram. make sure those kids can that's why suck down that yogurt. Sponsored on by Gogurt. Uh, go on gogurt.com and then promo code bad comedy for uh, one free Gogurt with your order. My problem with so yogurt is always by the time I'm on the go. Mm-hmm. So I don't have like a spoon and a table. Uh, to, no, you know? Yeah. If only it came in a tube. Uh-huh, that I'd have to. Get rid of after our go <laughs> code could, it doesn't expire till the third till suck down like a pixie stuff. until oh, yeah. Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, our go is good till Thanksgiving. Let's our sponsorship, suck those things down. but it's actually uh promo code go Shout out to and then uh for real bad uh the steeper cool steeper club. Oh, yeah. the tea of the world that's the tea of the world. Do you think wow. Pharrell is based on for real? Borco would have loved that stuff. You think so? I like that. That's a good question. He's for real about tea. And mm-hmm. Borka traveled the world to get this tea. Borka? Yeah, Hannibal Barca. Borka. He rode an elephant around the world, collected <laughs> all this tea, and sent it to, to Tom McGee. Mm-hmm. Dude. And I heard he took the elephant across the ocean. He did. Uh, no, on a speedboat. It was <laughs> just, like, just like how you Just an elephant York. standing on a speedboat. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, well, what happened was they, they were crossing the Alps, and the Romans just took over the city. They just crossed on ships. And took over Carthage. So he kind of lost yeah. interest in... Blindsided. No, I was just making sure that our guests didn't arrive. No, the Carthaginians got blindsided because they said their whole army. That happened to Ben Noble. If you show up at a... <laughs> you show up in another country and you had an elephant with you and those people have never seen an elephant, you're a god. That yeah. was stuff they talked about in the, in the books. Yeah, uh-huh. they were like, what are these 
beasts. So some, if I could go back there with like, an it would be like alien. Oh it would be like when uh, when like the Mayans and stuff and Aztecs saw people yeah. playing uh-huh. a bunch of ships on horses. They never seen horses. Mm-hmm. Like um, what were these fucking? Aliens? Was, they did have a you know there was that one country that tried to beat them by spreading disease among all the elephants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of times there was a lot of sycophants. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and they were like, they're basically big fans of NSYNC and they, their trunks, yeah. they were like, bye, bye, bye. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, a lot they're of times small. Bob Keen was there. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's kind of similar to the elephants and then mm-hmm. like uh, with the ships and the horses. Uh, whenever I see like uh, like a Mexican person, I'm like, is it like an alien? You know? Yeah, they're aliens mm-hmm. uh, S- when they're around C- here. Cinco yeah. fan. Cinco. This is Honestly, a Cinco I think fan. When Rovan was telling me the story of Bob Keen and how he had to make a decision at one point where he didn't have anywhere to live so then he, he chose to, yeah, and, then, and then he chose to live with the the one that could be more of a sugar mama that's how i heard that that's what bob decided to. that was the origin story of the beautiful <laughs> relationship <laughs> oh uh-huh. it today this last week I so what, what was that, your impression of bob keaton He's got a good one. Yeah, I'm probably <laughs> going to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that's it was. Good. I thought it was apropos for the story. Um, because you said that's the origin. This past I week on Thursday, I went to the Bears game. This past Thursday, nice. Um, I went Did to the Bears game with it? with John Hickok and Bob Keen and Paul Miller. Um, wow, sounds really yeah. <laughs> that's a little weird crew. Me and Bob got. How did Bob get invited? Me and Bob got into a fight. Did you? Really? Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. Another one. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> Wait, what'd you just... W- uh, and then what happened? Okay, so that's good. So, yeah, so I, m- I had to miss it because uh, I actually went... I'm more of a Paris... So I'm more of a Paris football fan, and the p- the Paris are playing at the same time yeah. as the Bears. Oh, something yeah, happened, but I... The Chicago Bears. Yeah, something happened Bears between down. me and Bob, um, I, but I'm not going to talk about it until the Patreon. Mm. So, patreon.com really? slash bad comedy. Okay. Really juicy how about stuff. Yeah. How about Keefob Keen? Uh-huh. Keefob Keen. Keen Fob. Keen Fob. Keen Fob. Keen Bob. Keen Fob. Keen Fob. Keen Fob. Brandon Keefob. <laughs> yeah. Brandon Key. Yeah. So what does he do? Lose his keys? He, yeah. Because he, uh, he's blacked out. <laughs> uh, how you no, guys, you guys no, see, Brand- see Brandon? His hand will open the door. The key oh, fob nice. thing. You see Brandon's new haircut? Hand and key. Mm-hmm. Fob. He's got. A sh- he's got a short mm-hmm. hairstyle. Have you seen this, Brandon Kiefer? Uh, yeah, like rocking sharp. a short hairstyle, no longer looks like George oh, Washington. Yeah, no, or whatever. That, that, yeah, that joke is done yeah, for now. That joke is done. I told him it looks like, I told him it looks like John C. Riley. Uh, okay, I can see that. I've had two people. I that could John C. that. I, I've had two people that have mm-hmm. come to shows that enjoy, just uh, like old friends of mine, because I would mm-hmm. just like get get people out to the shows. And two people said he looks like a little a little John C. Riley. <laughs> little no, John C. Riley. <laughs> now that's a music act I check like out. <laughs> I've always wanted to do the dollar joke like he does, but they. They only put white supremacists with hair on the dollar <laughs> yeah. bills. Yeah, so you, don't bald guys. Bald you have to move to Russia to do that joke. <laughs> you should. Uh, I actually was reading that. I'm pretty sure Matthew Perry beat the shit out of uh, what's the Justin Trudeau back in the day. How? It's on his Wikipedia that he he I'm went to the same high school. So, so as Justin Trudeau and like beat him up in like Jason Melton comedy. JasonMeltonComedy.com. All right. Uh, we could he be less we Canadian? We got 47 in the chamber. We'll do 10 minutes at the end. Okay. Um, folks, we'll, uh, we're just going to take a quick intermission. To some go-gurt. We're going to take an, an intermission out mm-hmm. and fresh out the kitchen. We're going to go get some go so we'll be right back. Um, what kind of go do you want? I'm probably going to go with... Uh, I'd, is there like a I like the strawberry one, kind of. Yeah, we'll probably get strawberry. All right, we'll be back after the Gogurt break, folks. And we're back. Gogurt's in tummy. And I'll tell you what, folks. So I got the strawberry Gogurt, one of mm-hmm. the best ones. Go to gogurt.com for more. Dylan, how's yours? Uh, mine was fantastic. Uh, I only eat yogurt on the go. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, Jason got frozen yogurt. Yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's different. Yeah. I, don't, I, got, I love. Uh, OBS. I love gogurt covered pretzels. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I, I like I just wanted to eat like gogurts for like a quick break, mm-hmm. like in, out, out there and come back in, and then you all the way up, had to go all the way to the store to get uh, basically ice cream. No, you it's said it's <laughs> some kind of yogurt. It's like it defeats the purpose, man. I'm more of a sorbet guy, if I'm being real. No, mm-hmm. If anyone that says sor- sor- sorbet, oh, I would, I'd kill him that says sorbet. Why? 
You just said it. That's not like a real yourself. thing. No, it's, it's sherbet it's or ice cream. There's no sorbet. Mm. It doesn't even fucking exist. Well, Gelato, that's fake. Mm-hmm. Fuck that shit. Sherbert's the best. Let's be honest. With I'm us. a real American. I like fucking American words. I'm a freaking American. TJ Sposhi was on Facebook, like fucking correcting people on how to say bruschetta. He says Ugh. bruschetta, and I said, "Not in my America, TJ." <laughs> so he he posted something. I don't think I do. I know who that is. Is he a patron? He's not, but he's kind of a fan of the podcast. Uh, so he posted something on Facebook wow. like, "I know you guys all talk shit to me about." Me, how I post on Facebook. Oh, really? But it's really paying off. I just made eight dollars in Facebook money yeah. or oh, something. Oh wow! He can buy Twitter with. That. I don't know what he fucking did. Oh, so he made bitch. some money off of his Facebook posts, <laughs> and I go, "Are people giving you grief about Facebook?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, "I'm a martyr." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just kind of ironically fucking with him. Yeah, <laughs> I go. I mean, if people are making fun of you, I kind of want to be on their side. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a better side to be on. Well, you seem like you were on his side at first a little bit. then, Folks, if there's ever something going on at work where there's a really sensitive person and everyone else is making fun of them, you know which team to be. You join it. Yeah, you don't want to be on this weak little Yeah, what are you going to fucking defend this nerd? No, you want to be the cool kids because the cool kids go to the bars after work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cool kids... Maybe one of them might get promoted and help mm-hmm. you get promoted. They might lose their job. You think that little dweeb is going to fucking no? No. Yeah, dude. And it's a pendulum, dude. It yeah. swung toward the nerds, but it's got to swing back to the bullies yeah. at some point. No, I mean, it's most, Revenge of nerds, of the most of the yeah, nerds. Yeah, Revenge of the Bullies. We need that movie. Yes. Because that's reality. That's legit what they <laughs> would do nowadays. Like the Karate Kid, they uh-huh. made it like the bullies were the heroes. Yeah. Now they need to do Revenge of the Nerds, where it's like the nerds are the actual bullies yeah. and, the, and, the bu- and the jocks are like. Getting picked on? No, for yeah, real. Because no, I, I mean, that. if you think about it, the fucking nerds really got revenge. No, hard totally revenge. fucked they up the tons of power. I feel like the have. nerds from my high school, though, mm-hmm. they're like they're not as successful as the bullies. Yeah, probably. Well, not. maybe not the bullies. Just I guess the jocks or the uh, cool people. It takes the right kind of bully to be successful, but a nerd learns how to play the bitch game. Which yeah, is but normally, like the I, I wouldn't say bullies, but like the. Popular kids are more charismatic, and mm-hmm. they get. There's a term in there's a term in the gay community they call topping from the bottom. Nice. What's That's kind of what nerds power do. bottoming. Uh-huh. Well, they're topping from the bottom. Well, that's spoken they're like bottom, a top. so they're getting fucked. Uh huh. But they're bottoming like a top, like no, with all the aggression. Honestly, so a power yeah. bottom. Yeah. Yeah, like a power bottom. Yeah. Sometimes the gays I've worked. I think a power with bomb just really likes to take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they learn how to get it. Very powerful. I feel like the gays I've worked with, they understand the systems more, and they know that sometimes you got to be a bottom yeah. in the business world to get to the top. Mm. <laughs> so you pretend. Now I'm just thinking about that gay guy. Or who said, there's no such thing as tops and bottoms. I just meet a guy and we wrestle, and whoever wins is the top. Who said that? <laughs> this yeah. gay guy I know. Wow. <laughs> or Ryan. that's awesome. Though. Or you fake it's it. Well, it or you fake it until you make it, so you pretend that you're a top, uh-huh. even though you really want to get fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But that, that yeah. in the end, you get to be a top and you get to be more successful. No, that's yeah. why I see you become like a Republican <laughs> senator, even though you really want to be <laughs> fucked in the ass. Yeah, like Lindsey Graham. <laughs> <and they get laughs> Secretly. Lindsey Graham is a girl's thing. name. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like obviously known by everybody to be a closet homosexual. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's why I think like L- Abe Lincoln freed the slaves. So I think he's a dom. Because Dude, well, you know what? You know what actually opposite. is? People think Abe Lincoln is gay. Do you know that one? Really? Oh, yeah. That's a big really? thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you don't know about that? No. There's all these stories about him sleeping in beds with other men. But I some people go, that's just what they did at I the time. I heard about him being racist more than that. Honestly. Oh, no, dude. You got to dig into the Abe Lincoln is gay shit. Well, we get, I mean, you should look at both mm. because we all know the black coffee, if you put uh, cream and sugar in it, it uh, you're gay and racist. Well, it's True. Uh, I think Abe Lincoln put Honestly. cream and sugar in his coffee because... He was gay, like you're saying. Yeah, he had a little and sugar in his tank. And the only reason that he passed that uh, Emancipation Proclamation is because he thought he was going to get free slaves. Ooh. He didn't think that mm. he was going to free the slaves. Oh. No. oh, yeah, he probably didn't even He's read an idiot. it. Yeah, yeah. Like and then, and then he promised John Wilkes Booth that he would give him some slaves. Never followed through because he didn't get any free slaves. Got oh, shot in the head. God, that, that's what no happens. wonder. Yeah, and, people yeah, always no, wonder what his shot. motive was. That's what it was. Folks. You can't just offer people free slaves and not come through. I know that kind of shit gets you shot in the head. Yeah, yeah in the back yeah. of the head in the theater. D- can, Dale's playing. The, yeah, me. he was watching theater. <laughs> I do <Okay>. theaters. <laughs> no, he was watching a play. Dale loves saying, "I love theaters." 
But you don't want Dale up on that balcony. He'd probably either. fall off and break his ribs. No, they don't, they don't want Dale up <laughs> there. If he went up on the balcony. The best was when I was sitting next mm-hmm. to Dale at Louis C.K. at the Vic, and then Dale's uh, theater chair broke. Oof. Did that really right. happen? In, broke in front of Louis C.K.? Oh, yes. my God, dude. <laughs> That's we, we were like the eighth row. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. He didn't, he didn't really show his emotion. I had to help pick him up and stuff with other people. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't show much emotion like there, but I guess he went to North Bar oh, and like no. cried. No, I feel <laughs> oh. like for him to not be showing emotion means he's burying something. No, he's bigger. very he's very emotional. Big mm-hmm. J Ogerson has a clip where somebody in the crowd's chair breaks. It's a big fat guy. Mm-hmm. And then he basically does So Rab's whole act improvised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so big. Just yeah. based on a big fat guy breaking yeah. a chair in he front of him. He just riffs all So Rab's jokes. Mm, he's he's a, one of the riffiest. One of, he's a riffiest, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Much like our guest coming out later this week. Yeah, he's probably going to be one of the riffiest guests gonna we're going to have this yeah, week. Jerry, yeah. Probably riffiest <laughs> comic in Chicago, probably. <laughs> he, that wasn't a call back. That was a call forward. <laughs> nice. <laughs> time, guys, time is a construct, and you can construct it any way you That's want. Cool. We're the Bob the Builders of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the oral can Boros. we do it? Yes. You guys we have will. no idea when any of these are being recorded. Eventually. Today's Monday or Tuesday or maybe even a Saturday. Mm hmm. Dude. You break a chair in front of Louis C.K., that is a lot of pain. I was upset that. You've just complicated the show and the remember last relationship. Week, <laughs> remember last week when I said to Kyle that Saurabh joke about how Saurabh must have at least broken 15 chairs, uh-huh. 15 reels? Mm-hmm. He didn't laugh <laughs> last, last week. He wasn't wow. selling anything weird, talking shit about comedians. Did you notice <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was being political, like he's, even he's, in his he's like smart, laughing. Dude. He's smart. no, but that's he's, funny. Cunning, you, you, he's cunning. He's cunning. He's a Machiavellian. He's cunting. I'll say he's uh, he's more of a Bezos <laughs> than a Musk. Even if yeah. he's heard of people, <laughs> for him to say that he hasn't, that is a way of insulting them without like oh, actually yeah. saying anything about them. But I also believe that he doesn't know who those people are. No, but it was uh, still funny. <laughs> yeah, but he's. <laughs> I've never heard of he's him. A, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> he, he's a good speaker and he's good at self PR. Mm, without, yeah. without, like, being obvious about being too political. Which yeah. is funny because low key he has, like, bad PR <laughs> among the comedy yeah. scene. <laughs> <He's never laughs> so it's what, like he said, it's a bunch of rumors and shit. Bad, but. I don't, I don't hear anything <laughs> about him, but. Then I mean, we can. We're on like a free we episode. Help, I feel like we oh. could help Comedy Bar with. I mean, it's just true, though. Most people know. Yeah, yeah. Well, he but, said, he said but his rep, it doesn't. I, I, he's always been good to me. I, I like. I'll him. always defend him. I've I always liked know. him. I've known him for twenty years. There's a lot of people talking shit, but nobody knows for real. I've yeah. done it for twenty years. I've known yeah. for twenty one. Oh, really? Years, yeah. I didn't actually know. I mean, yeah. I said well, no, twenty. No, years. I meant twenty. I feel like well, I know. Well, I know him. I feel like I've known him in previous lives. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, yeah. <laughs> How many years have you known him? I've known him. <laughs> I don't know, 29 and three quarters. No, well, you know, let's just add uh, on whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say, plus one. This is like me and John talking about money. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. He's like, uh, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't, I'm going to be a little bit late. My money counters are, uh, they're getting a little bit heated up. I got to cool them off. Mm-hmm. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you, yeah. you didn't get the money counters with the coolers built Dude, in. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of cheaped out on <laughs> broke, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Having a money counter is hilarious because they cost a lot of money. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah. I saw them in a, uh, what are those magazines on planes where it's Sky Mall? Sky Mall. Where they have I sh- saw a money counter. Shit, yeah. yeah, yeah. The money counter was like 500 bucks. I think so Sharper like, Image went out of business. Once I buy one of these, I'm not going to need it. Dude, Sharper no. Image was the coolest thing when you were a kid at the mall. Yeah, dude. But you want to you wanna need it. Like, when I was I'll a kid, I was like, guy. one day I'm going to have all these. Mm-hmm. That, what, what was there? All, yeah, Sharper, all cool, like, this shit. I never went to one. Like my pill machine. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> stuff like that. When I worked at Office Max, they had bought the Sharper Image name, so we, they sold a bunch of shit that was called the Sharper Image. Oh, but it was actually just yeah. Office Max brand. That's gay. But no, then, no, they had like a bunch. But of then cool they went out of business. It got bought like by Office Depot. It was like cool like inventions. Fuck, I'm trying to remember. Like, I feel like we talked about seeing somebody at Office Max. Uh, Did you, you see someone crew, at Office? Crew? Yeah, I, I saw yes. Crew. Which is like that seems so corporate for a crew. Max's best friend. Yeah, yeah. it is Max's Max best, best friend. I just called yeah. you Max. They have a long history. Don't hate him at all. Show running together and we were good friends. You should start the Cave Comedy at Enjoy. I should, yeah. Yeah, why didn't we do that yet? Because I I, I I don't want to start a show uh, right now. I I was thinking about this. We were talking to somebody. Uh, on the last episode we recorded, that about uh, <laughs> about uh, how I kind of miss enjoy because I loved how it was piped out onto the street, yeah, yeah. and you could hang out back there. That sh- that setup was kind of ideal to be like a comedy hang. That'd be a good uh-huh. one to start because you like could be in the back and spring. still know what's going on. We get one to start like like in this, this next spring. Yeah, next spring. It's like for comedy shows, it's like you want to make it a good comedy hang. 
it just helps because then you get some people just comedians chilling. hanging out. It uh-huh. makes it look like popular before it's popular. But it's not awkward. Comedy. We mm-hmm. don't get traumatized like when I was at bartenders and they didn't let me go up. Bartenders. Like you were talking, you said something about like, what if you just get bumped off the list entirely? Yeah, well, like they did do a bartenders they used to do to everybody at uh, uh, Jokes and Notes as well. Oh, it was okay. like a black room, so they pu- and a bunch of big black comedians would come through and they uh-huh. put them all up, and all these white open micers would just get bumped off. Yeah, and I was like first yeah. on the they list. They let that radio host go up. Uh, yeah, the guy runs it is the radio. Oh, uh, really? Guy. Yeah, <laughs> what's his name? He runs it, doesn't he? not Ricky Smiley. It's a, uh, oh no! Like my psychiatrist told so me, I should go to that open mic and Leon, perform. Leon Rogers. Leon, Leon Rogers, Rogers. Yeah. yeah. Leon yeah. Rogers. My psychiatrist said he goes to that open mic and he said I should go there and perform. Oh really? Yeah. He also my he also watched you, my. Special. You still I think go to mine would tell me not to. to. Yeah, for um, yeah. Adderall. Uh, mine for would tell me that's yeah. bad for me. I just had an online person. Like you're good. They j- what? Did they just write the script. You don't have to meet them. Uh, no, I met him online. Did you get Adderall? On Zoom. Maybe it's no, I got my bands. Maybe that's why. I is it different? I, I could have gotten Adderall. They, they Adderall gave, is... They gave me the option. Max switched he to He told Adderall. me because... I mean, I... Trust me. I can get it. He told me because of the class of drug it is, I have, to meet, I, I have to meet with him once in a while. You guys should trust me about Elon Musk. You should trust me about... No. Vyvanse versus Adderall. About Elon no, Vyvanse has been helping me study. I've done both. <laughs> I've done and Vyvanse which one's and better? Adderall. It's different, but I like uh, Adderall better. Yeah. You can take it both together. So you should trust me on... That's where it's at. I call it... Speed speeding. Yes. <laughs> speed Moving fast. Instead of speed ball, it's like mm-hmm. a speed. So what the so, so the Vivance so helps me concentrate speed, a little bit more and then the and the and then the Adderall makes me uh do stuff fast. It depends uh-huh. on your own body chemistry. Yeah, and how much you've you know? taken it yeah. for how long. Brain just chemistry, kind of how many brain cells you've do lost. Anything anymore. How many times yeah. you've had COVID, lost I, brain mass. I do think I've ruined my brain with Adderall. Yes. Like, I, I definitely so feel like I've, yeah. I'm feeling the effects. I'm more damaged. Mm-hmm. You know why I started this podcast? When I was in college, podcast, I'd take some and... I started this ooh. podcast to be a documentary on, like... Uh, the long-term effects of the, uppers? Yeah, over time. So it's like, I'm going to get a connect. I'm a scientist. I take... Mm-hmm. Slowly, our episodes just turn into us <laughs> cleaning your house. I'm curious <laughs> about the the Zanny stuff because if that is just you take one third of one and then you knock out for I two took years, half of one third of one. That is, I took I one sixth. For me, no, yeah. I mean, he gave me what? Uh, what was, what was uh, those other sleeping pills you had? Uh, Seroquels. Seroquels. I took a full one and I was able to wake up. I took a half of the Seroquel and slept through work. Yeah, it's like very, Jason just so tired. I'm just weak to that shit. Yeah, you just need to get. Well, you, just need yeah, to, you just need to get a schedule. Somebody sleep. told me I have the, a medicine sensitivity before, so oh, I might really? have. That, yeah. yeah, but you also uh, need to get a sleep schedule of some sort. I also have no sleep schedule, but I've, I haven't had a sleep schedule since eighth grade. Yeah, I just no, like that we have like a similar that. sleep. schedule. I used to like to stay up to watch Mash. <laughs> <laughs> Seven a.m. It would come on. Oh, <laughs> God damn that show! I watch Pokemon Yu Yu. Can you guys tell that Mash is my biggest comedic influence? Mash mm-hmm. potatoes, probably. Yeah. Based on you, well, mash, mash potatoes mash is my norm. biggest culinary influence. You, you kind of. <laughs> I, I, like like, I feel like your comedy is kind of like. Uh, I mean, obviously it's Norm Macdonald, but mixed with like uh, Ralphie May, Dan McKeith. I actually, <laughs> a lot of people don't know this, but one of my so bigger really influences is America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh, really? Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's why I have what drew my set. Somebody Mine is the uh, balls. that Rob Dyrdek show, uh, uh, cr- Craziness. Or Factory? Yeah. No, Something the, Factory? No. Robin Big? No, no, the one where they watch videos. They're oh, like the, <laughs> his rip-off Tosh show? Yeah, I think it's called, like, <laughs> This Show Sucks. It's this sh- something this uh, I'm pretty sure it's called Isn't that show called sucks. This Is Tosh's Show? My yeah, biggest yeah, comedic no, influence I think it's called Tosh is Ridiculousness. No. It's called Tosh Point 2. Yeah. <laughs> ridiculousness with Rob Dyrdek is my biggest No, I think it's Tosh Point 2. Tosh Point 2. Without Tosh. Well, because, I mean, most of my jokes, I kind of, I mean, get influenced by that dumb blonde girl. Whatever her name is, the one that got hit in the face with Summer the ball Sanders? on that show. Yeah, yeah whoever. The, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. She got I hit in the know. face when they were playing dodgeball on that show. I don't know. I don't There's watch that show. I find that guy's last name hard to pronounce. It's just deer uh, and then a dick. My well, brain stop. Like a deer. You're hurting my brain. He animal. Want, he wants nothing to my do with brain. dick. I can't say that word. He doesn't right, want so even sing, his sing, own sing, dick. I'm fucking American. You know that song? Doe a deer. Let's take doe a deer a dick. Dude, mm-hmm. what is this gay song you're singing? No, what is going talking on? About I'm getting okay. more confused. I think that's from uh, <sighs> sa- Sound of what, what about Ro- Rob Deer? The Sound of Men Making Love. Deer Penis. Deer Pussy. No, deer not penis. P- pussy. Yeah. Deer Penis. I'm high as Deer Pussy. pussy. <laughs> it's not that high. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I need more. <laughs> 
Venison. So could we wrap back to probably like a month ago when we were talking about putting the African rings on the neck of a giraffe? <laughs> How many would you need? I'm bored with the rings. I love that because the giraffe's trying to stretch his neck even longer. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's with the nope. beauty standards. You never know what they think about these. Bobby Buzz mm-hmm. actually needs those rings. He has no. You neck. ever see giraffes fight with their necks? Did we talk about that? Yeah. I gotta make sure I get this oh one man, through. It's awesome. I'm bored of the rings. Bro. So I have so many rings on. Bored of the rings. I that's how. That's how my buddy Anthony felt when we watched it, and he uh-huh. passed out on fentanyl patches. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> My dad read the books. He I'm said bored of the rings. Ooh, mm-hmm. just in time for Halloween. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, do you did you guys watch uh maybe, from, maybe it was from the Lizzie I'm Michael Lizzie Cooper. McGuire show? Maybe the guy yeah, Gordo. Gordo, yes. That guy's a fucking pussy. And he was skinny, but what that about means, uh, that guy was like Richie Gomez? I was no. You're spo- if you ma- name him Gordo, you make him a fat kid. He was that other no. fat kids was, can look up. Yeah, he wasn't fat though. No, Gordo is Spanish so for bad. fat. I know, but Gordo wasn't fat. What the hell? It was short for Gordon. And he had a bar oh. mitzvah on it. How yeah. about Goro from Mortal you? Kombat? He was a loser. He had a butt chin. Goro from Mortal Kombat. Four arms. Mm-hmm. Mm. So okay. that guy got laid. He's got four arms, and he's got four comma. Do you think Sora has four, four arms? He has 16 arms. He has <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Dude, he, he, you know what Goro does? Is He he has four arms. A cool one. So he grabs your arms mm-hmm. with his arms, and, his and then he grabs your legs with his arms, and then, and then he pulls you into four pieces. Is that his finishing move? Mm-hmm. It's one of them. But then we have Gordo <laughs> from Lizzie McGuire. He kisses Lizzie one time, I think, in the movie. He's such a pussy. He never yeah. fucks, uh, what was her name? Uh, Miranda, I think. Or fr- the yeah, Mexican the Hispanic Latina. one, yeah. Miranda writes. It's uh, a lot of trash. I, ever, I thought that so Lizzie McGuire was so hot. So. Is she so hot that in, in in Kelly school. Duff? I never seen Back it. Back in the day, you thought that. I never seen it, but show me the yeah. money. Yeah. Well, and then when she turned 18, I thought it again. I never seen yeah, Lizzie McGuire. I haven't yeah. been watching it recently. I never seen Lizzie <laughs> McGuire, but <laughs> show me the money. <laughs> what do you mean? That's Jerry Maguire. Nice. Okay, so. <laughs> I never seen that either. Butch Maybe McGuire. they're connected. <laughs> Maybe that's her, her real dad. Maybe he owns Butch Maguire's. Mm-hmm. How about so Mark Maguire? Jonathan Lipnicki, I think, was in Jerry Maguire. Yeah. What else was that? Oh, we should get him on the podcast, too, like Beans. We need to get Beans on. What's the update on the well, Beans status? Um, I'll hit up Max. <laughs> we'll get Beans on, and then we need to get Jonathan Lipnicki on. <laughs> He's just like a they should have Beans, beans on that cooking show. No, I want to have primarily child stars on this show from now on. <laughs> we need to get the guy I from That's So Raven. Oh, we, we dude, that guy is killing it. Uh, oh, uh, the... Orlando? The friend Orlando. Oh, I've been guess, watching him on a zoo show. Isn't dying. he crazy? Isn't he insane or something? Oh my god, yeah. He's got different. Dude, there's teeth some uh, there's some Ooh. interviews where they're like, "How old are your babies?" And he's like, "Well, they're like, Orlando he's like, I got Groom. a two year old." And they go, "What's the two years old name?" And he goes, "The two two year old's not been born yet. Oh, doesn't god. have a name. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's completely yes. like, so we gotta have him on. And painter. he's been wearing a uh like a uh, reptile uh." Context. Oh yeah. <laughs> what um, the fuck is that guy? Orlando. Something? Oh no, the the weird context. I know who it is. So and name. he's got fangs on. I still. Have to oh yeah, he kind of has vampire teeth. Yeah. There's some great shit online. I'm so woke. I watched that. So Raven. Uh-huh. That was a black uh, main character. I, I'm so woke. I, knew I, I, I also watched the Proud Family. I knew I would watch that. So Raven. Yeah. Once it came out, I knew it in advance. Well, I watched that. So Raven because uh, Edgar Allan Poe wrote about ravens. Uh huh. Um, so he was Rodney Dangerfield's like uh, uh, we were got so much disrespect we didn't watch the Proud Family we uh-huh. watched the Shame Family. Sometimes I feel like Rodney Dangerfield. No I think I, I can't get no respect, you guys. What about yeah. Rodney? I can see wife. that for you. Yeah. What yeah. about Rodney? <laughs> safe, <laughs> safe, uh, safe <laughs> land. Like like oh, that. d- well, like that's because that. you don't deserve it, or whatever. Rodney, get Rodney, no safe respect. house. Rodney, safe house. And it's where you get respect. Nice. Nice. Field. And it's where you get respect. Because field is a place. Allison field, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's where you get, it's where you get respect. R- R- yeah, Rodney's safe And it's just like... R- instead of R- I get no respect? Rodney. Yeah. <laughs> I get lots of respect. Oh, wait, try to move that chair leg. It's kind of bending in. Oh, it shit. Out. What's another word for a rod? I like that as a character. Uh, like I was thinking pretzel rod, Sarah Snyder. Mm-hmm. I get tons of respect. Get respect. I, I tell you, I get tons of respect <laughs> everywhere I go. Well, that, uh-huh. That's Donald Trump. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I get, I get tons me. of respect. I'm going to the grocery store, and a guy holds the door open. Everybody, I'm telling you, I get so much respect. Yeah, he's the opposite of Rodney. Yeah, yeah. Everyone respects me. He's Rodney safe. House. I get so much respect. 
Yeah, <laughs> my, one of my friends gave me that album, Get No Respects, so and I have it on my wall, but then I think I just keep seeing uh, I get no respect every day. It's like yeah, an affirmation. That's an anti motivational. Oops. <laughs> uh, I have one that says, I get respect. Let's say some of our affirmations. I can't get no satisfaction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I try. Well, I. Uh, You're rolling well, stones. normally only when someone push pushes me and, and then just touches me, then I can get my satisfaction. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've been pushing people to be trans. They call me Push a T. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I uh, push all the time. <laughs> I think we already talked about this. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. did. Last we week did. or this week, I don't know. Kind of when you come together. into this room, there's no time. This mm-hmm. is the blender. Yeah, this room yeah. is a. Uh, it really is like a time capsule. Like I've been in this room mm-hmm. doing K with Brandon. It's like, like I'm looking at this huge dollar bill, and I'm like, am I Adam Gilbert? Yeah. I, look over, I see Barney's very small. Yeah. Like I have a T-Rex. Barney's small. Then he's How come big Brandon won't come on the pod? Push a T. Because he's a. He takes shit too seriously. Is he no, mad that at is us? lame, though. That's weird because I feel like he doesn't seem like he's trying to get something or whatever. So for him to just not want to do the he pod just says he doesn't weird. like uh, podcasting. Wow, um, I bet if Tony Hinchcliffe well, yeah, had him on exactly. his podcast, he'd go on. Yeah, g- oh yeah. wait a minute. I guess we just have he to set him up it. with all his jokes. Wait, he went on a podcast. Yeah, Tony Hinchcliffe's fucking kill Tony's a podcast. Isn't oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I we just I have to set up all those mic, bits. You know. That's what comics want. They want. I wouldn't come call it a here. podcast. I would just call it a live open mic. Yeah, true. We set up all their bits for them. They just get to do their bits on our. Well, platform. the thing is, I don't think it was yeah. set up at all. I just, you just got lucky. No, as I all. understand. Uh, God, I hope that happens if I go on there. Because let's just say I'm not the riffiest comic. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so God, I hope they say. Man, I wonder if I'll Jesus ever hear so somebody say that. I wonder if I'll ever hear somebody say that again. I want to see what you I'm just not said. the riffiest comic. Yeah, that or would be weird. I regret it saying it while I said it, so that's not. Well, no, I just wonder if like we another episode comes out with us and I hear like another guy saying mm-hmm. that all the time. I do think of people as either just like their strength is either more riffy or righty. And then I think yeah. I would honestly rather be more riffy. I think that's being funnier. And then it's like well, writing is different. And so, oops. If, if hey. you want to get the big laughs, it's all about sound effects. Dylan, I did mm-hmm. want to ask you a few questions while we're here. Um, if you write everything on stage, how does it work when you sit down and write a novel? So I have to be on stage a lot. All right. Well, I know when Squash. you I know when you were starting, you were on the road, <laughs> dumpster diving, living out of your car, stuff like that. Uh, do you think that you need to be all all in to succeed in comedy? Yeah. Also, were you sometimes you, you, you got to know when to hold them, when to fold them. Did, did you ever Sam go, Talent should fold them. Sam gone? Talent was uh, uh, come you, dumpster diving. No, and, and for donuts. <laughs> Have you ever gone on like a cool podcast in Chicago and then just uh, ruin? Uh, Oh, what? No, We're not. So. <laughs> Mac is Wait. his original question. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't We're know doing ori- we would never take questions from the gay ass mm-hmm. comedy. Gazette. No, yeah. no, it's not gay ass. It's actually cool. Uh, I don't know who that is. Anyways, um, do you ever do you ever go on to like a cool, funny podcast in Chicago and then uh, go back uh, somewhere else and then say it was bad and betray, <laughs> and, and betray everyone? Uh, I yeah. guess if, if we could go back to jerks, I guess I. Do you ever uh, tell a joke <laughs> that you thought was funny and to pretend like it wasn't funny because when you retold it, no one laughed, even though when I told it, talent. it was super funny and everyone laughed? Uh-huh. And yeah. just because you couldn't tell it the way I told it, now you're going to pretend like it's not funny and anymore? That's why Fuck you, bitch! I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm Ham Talent. <laughs> now I told your joke, it didn't work, and so that just says that the joke is trash. Sam Talon is so fat uh-huh. that how come when he walks deliveries. around, his feet just don't sink into the ground? I you don't know, know. you think that all ground would be like quicksand for him. Huh? Um, like, Maybe because Mother Earth, uh, Mother, uh, Mother Earth hates him. Honestly, ever since Sam Price <laughs> was on here and he was talking about hashtags, and he said, hashtag your own joke, I was saying you're funny. And then I just thought, wow, now I can't put hashtag funny anymore. I, oh. I do. No. Ooh. I still do. Yeah. I do hashtag hilarious. Hashtag really? hysterical. Hashtag if, s- if you don't follow the hashtag for funny, you sound like you're living a kind of sad, mm-hmm. you know, well, you mm-hmm. yeah. sh- like a shallow, sad. Like a, like a shell of a human being. Like a, like shell. A, like an like eggshell, like, like Blake yeah. without the yolk inside. 
Yeah. Silver if you, the way that, that <laughs> yolks. If you're not an egg lord, your <laughs> life is shallow. He's an egg lord full of yolks. <laughs> no, because yeah. isn't oh, like an that's egg a shallow that, life. <laughs> an egg that is. You know a shell Obama. I, I'm a Barry Blake in a shallow grave. <laughs> isn't an egg like a rejected <laughs> fetus, right? <laughs> What? An egg is like not gonna be a chicken. Well, an egg is just yeah, it yeah. didn't get fur- it didn't get fucked. Mm-hmm. Non fucked eggs. That's why I said the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Can I get some of the non fucked eggs? Yeah. yeah. No fucked eggs, please. Like I go, sir, send these back. They've all been fucked. Yeah, uh-huh. there's semen all over these eggs, sir. <laughs> it's like a vasectomy. Mr. Grocery Man. And he's mm-hmm. like, I'm not the grocery man, I just wear this to fit in. You guys gonna get your tubes <laughs> tied? <laughs> I'm trying to change. I'm trying joke. to work on my. Is that the target joke? Okay. I'm trying to work on my <laughs> that questions. That was really good. <laughs> We're getting too good at podcasting. It was subtle. Yeah, I need yeah. to uh, maybe. I'm trying to get better at podcasting. Trying to and stand up. I want to change my inflection. So, just a question: Are you guys gonna get your tubes tied? No, that's Here's too much. Here's an interview question Are you for you, Dylan. Do that? It's too much. Don't do that. Interview question for Dylan: Do you think there's a fever you can get you that would that correct your, your brain damage? Yeah, what, what kind of uh, surgery? We need what el- kind of probably electrotherapy. We need to charge him up, and he wants to get charged up. Do you want to get charged up? <laughs> we'll we'll do electrotherapy. I love electricity, you. but I think that's we'll, we'll take you to the Brian Johnson <laughs> Hospital. It's an issue. Well, we'll you take don't want to Brian Johnson Hospital. We won't make you stay there. We'll just go in there. We'll electrify you. Mm-hmm. Brian Johnson's Hospital. Yeah. Well, let's just say <laughs> what, no the psych risk, ward. Right? Yeah. That's <laughs> That's the only place they have that stuff. <laughs> my doctor, when we talk about my brain stuff, he says, nothing to lose. <laughs> so we can try anything. <laughs> nothing to and lose. And we'll, we're going to we try everything. We could do a, what's it called when you There's uh, nothing. cut the brain sides in half? Uh, lobotomy. lobotomy. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. they stick a hook up your nose or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do that. I we can do I'm that. We get, we get, I have a lot of tools. We can just do it here if you yeah, want. Yeah, dude. Jeffrey Dahmer style. Yeah. So if you guys think of my brain as this invaluable, no, no, we think it's valuable. That's why we want to make sure. No, we want to make sure that it's in perfect shape. Hit it with a hammer and see if it fixes. Well, we could try that. We kind of like how you've become with the brain damage. We want to do a little more and see if that Uh makes you even more. (laughs) Honestly, probably would more like this. (laughs) Completely honestly, I think if I was like, if you didn't, oh, if you thirty percent, forty percent dumber, yeah, I'd have no problem. Whatever part of the brain overthinks stuff, we'll Uh find that out, and then you'll just be just dumb as shit. (laughs) The more brain damage, (laughs) the more he loves Elon Musk. And you'll underthink, you'll, 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 you'll underthink everything, and then you'll just. It, no, it is like that. I'm, I'm dumb, but m- I still have ambition, yeah. which is we got to get rid of that. Oh, yeah. We need to kill the ambition. That, yeah, you got to become like a Dale. Yeah, no, I've had friends yeah. that are like just dumb as hell, and they just don't really, c- they kind of float through life very carelessly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. And that's the guy you want. Yeah, when yeah. the bird's song interrupts your reading, well, mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes ign- you could sing and the bird will read. Uh-huh. Yeah, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> and bird in, probably in can't Towns, read. I, know, I doubt it. Ignorance is bliss in a Sam Towns case. Ignorance is pig. Uh, pig piss. Mm-hmm. Is pig piss. He's a flightless <laughs> pig bird. He is a flightless pig bird. And we'll have mountain mm-hmm. pigs fly. Piss pig. There's big bird and there's pig bird. Mm. One's my best friend growing up. One was your best friend for uh, 10 minutes. We had a falling out. One's my. One was supposedly one your best friend. <laughs> Big bird. Put him on Big bird does sound like pops. a guy, like a black guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Big, Big bird. bird. Hey, do you guys remember Pee Wee Herman's? You. <laughs> you guys remember Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure when they go inside that big dinosaur head and watch the sunrise? Hell yeah. Uh, Pee Wee oh and Dottie. Gosh. Ah oh, man, I can't and watch that without crying. He's, he says, you're, uh, "Remember, she Take said you're such a rebel, Pee Wee." <laughs> 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 That's what girls and say. To he me. laughs like that. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, Pee Wee. Right? Yeah. Rest in peace to Paul. Rest in peace. You know who helped write that? That guy from SNL. What's his name? Uh, He's like a genius. Chris Farley. Talking about. No, no. You're probably talking about Chris Catane. No, no, no. Chris Container. He is a genius. Where is Chris Catane now? G- he, was um, he just did. Changing comedy, uh, I think. Night at the Rocks Bay or anything. <laughs> he died. Man, no, I'm I'm I miss him. I always want him to be the monkey guy. Monkey bone? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think it's a Chris Catane movie. Is <laughs> Based on really? one of his oh SNL God. characters. <laughs> monkey bone? Monkey bone? I might be misremembering. <laughs> there are just some things where it's like it's such a high level. You guys ever do shrooms? Watch Crank Yankers. But even like fifth oh, grade dude. me would have never <laughs> Crank Yankers. I like watching. I wa- I just sh- uh, me and my buddy Kyle just shrooms watch Crank Yankers. Yeah. It sounds fun. Yeah, we should prank call uh, Dan DeSimo and ask him what really happened. Because uh, there was some situation earlier where Adam Crescetti. Uh, 
Yeah. The list sign up thing. Uh, no, we, no, I want to hear I his we, side. I think we called it. him and talked about I it. I believe. Or we talked about it to him in person or something. I believe he told me that he just didn't want to bump Adam Crescetti and Adam Crescetti got mad. Yeah. Like, that's what I think he told uh-huh. me the story was. It was a- Adam had more mental clarity, but also. And then more Dan anxiety. wasn't being a dick. I was being a dick across the table to him. So yeah, I was across like, the you're, table. Like, you're not funny and gay. Say yeah. Well, <laughs> but Adam had the shit Adam said, weed. it sounded like he was just like super jealous of Dan and he got drunk and mm. let it all out. Yeah. He was I like, mean, I'm f- I get more laughs than you. I don't understand why you think. I think so I think hot. Adam no, wants see, to that's be. Where it's that's like, what Adam was. Saying. I think Adam wants to be a they them. But oh. I think we're, when we're fighting about Elon and the image things, that's the other side of it where if someone be right, like we did 30 minutes. This is I was talking. If someone's this, b- this is it. Sorry. Self. Wrap up the episode with this thought. What are you saying, Dylan? Go. Sometimes you don't really like someone if they're themselves all the time. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Well, so you I like front. people who they change are, themselves to make fake, me happy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I like fake people who yeah. don't. You, you, I you like perfect people. <laughs> like I say fake people Matt. got no <laughs> reason to <laughs> live. Uh, anyways. I love um, Randy Newman. I love plugs, real people. Plugs for the people. YouTube. What do you got for YouTube? You can find me at Comedy Batty. You can see me at Base Camp in Lyle on the 9th. And uh, I want to take a shot. Mm-hmm. Is that w- Illinois? Mm-hmm. That already happened. These are all huge things, you guys. I have less than 1,000 followers. That already happened, by the Let's way. Let's pump that up. <laughs> that show. That pump show already up. happened by the time this came pump, out. Pump it up. Oh, I'll you, be uh, yeah. nowhere. He, he crushed on the show. I, I was there. So Mac supported me, and he was yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Was in a while. way, in a and sense. Then, uh, Jason Melton Twitch, JasonMeltonComedy.com. I'm recording a special January or November 11, 2022, coming out January 10, 2023, on YouTube at Jason Melton Comedy Vids. Should I plug all the open mics I'm going to go to? Nope. Also, I think Don't we're going to do a again. live bad comedy podcast soon, so please look out a for that. Comedy and bar. please buy tickets. That's make the one some to noise go if to. you want to see this shit. This is the thing to see. Yeah, make some noise in the chat. Yeah, nothing's uh, part confirmed, of confirmed yet, so I feel like it's you confirmed. Be careful, but it's confirmed. And we're doing it. Uh, and uh, if they don't confirm, we'll just book it somewhere else, like Pony Inn or something. Follow me at Bad Boy mm-hmm. Comedy, folks. And all these episodes, you don't have to watch on video. You can also listen on everything else as well if you uh, are on the run. Um, this is a gang And also join Patreon.com slash Bad Comedy. That's where the real episodes are, where we have pretty important guests on. Probably the most important We guests. got some good ones recently, so definitely check that out. Yeah. We have conquered Chicago. People, I mean, if you want to get booked in Chicago, you're going to want to check out the one from last week. So. Yeah, and if you want to hear a funny podcast, get on our Patreon. Yeah. Um, and then CoolSteeperClub.com uh, promo code uh, c- Cool Comedy. That's subscription T, baby. Cool, c- promo code Cool Comedy, Barney. Code Wild Hogs. Co- code Wild oh, Hogs. Oh, when we do it, we could be the Comedy Barney. <laughs> Nice. Barney, yeah, he just said it. Nice. So, oh, sorry. Uh, the promo code is uh, bad comedy. Okay. Uh, thanks for coming <laughs> on, guys. That's fun. Thank you for having me. Uh, th- 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 no, thanks for having. Yeah, me. no, no problem, guys. All right. Uh, we'll catch you guys in this uh, on Saturn. <laughs>